Hello everybody, today we're going to find the limit of square root of x squared minus 9 divided by 2x minus 6 as x approaches negative infinity. What you've done in the past is that you looked at the denominator and you found the variable with the highest power. And in this case, the variable with the highest power is x, that's the only variable in the denominator. So what you've done in the past is that you divided both the numerator and the denominator by x. But here, you have to be careful because you have a square root. Now to remind you, square root of x squared from algebra is equal to absolute value of x. Now this is equal to x if x is positive, but in this case, x is negative. x is approaches negative infinity. So this is equal to negative x, again, because x is negative. So what we have to do here is we have to divide both the numerator and the denominator by negative x. Okay, now, this will give me, uh, in the numerator, the square root of x squared minus 9 divided by a square root of x squared. Remember, this is equal to this, okay? Divided by, you have 2x divided by negative x. That will give me negative 2. Negative 6 divided by negative x. That will be positive 6 over x. Let's go ahead and simplify the numerator. The limit as x approaches negative infinity of x squared divided by x squared, right? Minus 9 over x squared divided by negative 2 plus 6 over x. Simplifying the numerator, then we get the limit as x approaches negative infinity of square root of 1 minus 9 over x squared divided by negative 2 plus 6 over x. Now we can apply the limit laws, okay? The limit of 1 as x approaches negative infinity, remember that's a 1, right? The limit of a constant as x approaches anything is simply the constant, minus the limit of 9 over x squared as x approaches negative infinity, that's going to be 0. This is going to approach 0 as x approaches negative infinity. In the denominator, you have the limit of negative 2 is simply negative 2, plus the limit of 6 over x as x approaches negative infinity, that's also going to approach 0, so the limit is 0. Simplifying this, uh, we get the limit of square root of 1, which is 1, divided by negative 2, or this is simply negative 1 half. I hope you find this video helpful. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.